News 5 this morning. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on this Friday morning. I'm Bill Riles. And I'm Jessica Deloney. We are glad you're waking up with us this morning, and we are tracking the tropics. We want to get you right back to meteorologist John Nodar with the latest on Tropical Storm Ida. And the latest includes tropical weather alerts, a tropical storm watch for George County, Miss, Mobile, and Baldwin counties in Alabama, and a hurricane watch for our Mississippi coastal communities. This means that Conditions, tropical storm or hurricane conditions, are expected within 48 hours. You've got no watches here in Pensacola, at least of that tropical nature, but you will feel some effects from this system. Ida is going to bring the possibility of some coastal flooding, a coastal flood advisory here, but for uh, Alabama and for Mississippi, Storm surge is something we'll be watching. A three to five foot peak at the northern end of Mobile Bay and the southern end, four to seven for our Mississippi communities, probably one to three in northwest Florida. Here is Ida moving readily at 15 miles per hour toward the northwest. It's going to move into the Gulf of Mexico later today. So let's take a look at the forecast from the Hurricane Center. Once it gets into the Gulf, it's going to find an environment that will allow for rapid intensification. So it will be a hurricane by the central Gulf and possibly a major hurricane of Category 3 or better by the time it gets close to the coast. It also slows down at the coastline, which is not a good thing. This track could shift a little bit to one way or the other, but we're on the wet side of this storm and will feel the effects of what by then will be Hurricane Ida. Bottom line, moves into the Gulf today, tropical storm and hurricane conditions Sunday and Monday. Some changes in the track are possible. Review your tropical plan and stay up to speed on this storm here, WKRG.com and our News 5 free weather app. Thanks, John. Close your